Good morning. Breakfast at Fish and East. It is 7.20 Central Time, Frisco Time. This is the fishbowl. That is the star. And we gathered some information for you over the course of the last, uh, well, uh, days, months, years, decades uh, that we present this morning. Give me a, a quickie. Give me 10 minutes and I'll give you Cowboys World on the subject of power rankings and um, what the league thinks of what the Cowboys have done and what you think too, and whether it's move the needle. I'm Mike Fisher, your trusty and trusted reporter. Did I say that? We uh, appreciate your contributions, your questions, your comments, and your criticisms. We also appreciate when you hit the like button that beats the algorithms and tells Cowboys Nation and fish heads that we rule and YouTube must get out of our way. Thank you for subscribing to what we do here. If you haven't done that yet, please do that in about 11 minutes. Uh, and uh, you can do that uh, in a way that may eventually win you valuable prizes. Hmm, interesting. That's a beard scratcher. How do I get to the Uncle Fish Premium? Ask the fellas. I'll show you how. You get the circle and the star. And there's the QR code if you want to go into the Uncle Fish store. Now, having said all of that incredible stuff, power rankings. And how much stock do you want to put on this? Because um, as much as you and as much as I uh, we're addicts when it comes to football and information, the NFL, the Cowboys, and more. Um, most of us look at the Cowboys with somewhat of a microscope rather than some wide-angled lens. So uh, we take a look at NFL.com and their power rankings post-draft, uh, and we come to what I think is an interesting conclusion about what it all means. So we know already... You can probably recite them by heart, uh, the eight names, not to mention a couple of the UDFAs that might make some sense, something that we'll get into here in the next 24 hours. But you kind of look around to national media grades, and while there is obviously uncertainty as to what this draft does with Dallas, you, you see A+, plus, you see A, you see B. Mostly good, mostly feel right, uh, feel good. And... Uh, not that you're supposed to put some grand amount of stock in it, but when you see that draft experts, who they, they might not be smarter than we are, but they've certainly spent more time on this than most of us have. In theory, anyway, I, 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 can, I can certainly say that Dane Brugler has spent more time on this, that Broadus has spent more time on this, uh, on, on the intricate details of the quality of player in the sixth round than I have. I think that's very fair to say. Cowboys get themselves Mozzie, Schoon, Overshone, Fajoko, Richards, the offensive lineman, Scott, defensive back, Deuce Vaughn, the running back, Jalen Brooks, Brooks, the wide receiver over the course of the selection process. So what about moving the needle via the draft hall? NFL power rankings, they have uh, the Cowboys ranked sixth. Now, I don't have any particular objection to that, do you? Henry Gonzalez, Uncle Fish Premium. I don't bother with power rankings because was it? Yeah, yeah. And, and Henry, I completely agree with your point. I've said this for years. The beauty of the NFL is, unlike college, thank you, Troy Sample, for the $10 pitch into the refund. One year anniversary, it looks like, of you hanging out here. The NFL has this thing called the standings that tell us where people rank. Now, unfortunately, Henry, uh, we don't have standings yet in May. And so so I'm not very interested in me doing power rankings, but I am interested in, in going kind of between the lines and what it means. And that's what we'll try to do here. And I appreciate your thoughts because you're not wrong. You're not wrong in terms of how much stock we want to put in all of it. But there's a but. We can still look at the Cowboys roster and say this. Did the draft make them obviously better? That's the first question we can ask. If only Mozzie performs anywhere near the level that they predict he will, only Mozzie. Because, right, for instance, right now, Deuce, Deuce Vaughn's getting a lot of uh, attention, and that's it's really cool, and it's a real feel-good, talking about feel-good. Uh, and... It, 
That pick was at least 99% football. 99% football uh, to pick the scouting staffer's son down in the sixth round. But but the only uh, guy in this group of eight that you absolutely positively, based on what the Cowboys think of him, figure him in as a top of the rotation difference maker is a run-stopping defensive tackle. That can be impactful, but, you know, it, it's not exactly on the same level as some of the moves that other teams make, especially the moves uh, in the draft that teams made when they had two first-round picks. Hard to beat that. So did the draft make them obviously better? Uh, the proof will be in the Mozzie pudding there. What about the two trades? Yes, the two trades make them better. Uh, they're, they, they have a number two receiver now that moves Michael Gallup down the depth chart. Uh, that moves Jalen Tolbert down the depth chart. Frankly, down to where they belong. Michael Gallup, based on his performance last year, still working his way back from the knee injury, clearly, uh, was not a number two receiver in the NFL last year. He wasn't good enough to do that. And Jalen Tolbert, who the Cowboys projected uh, early in the year as a starter, especially after the James Washington injury, uh, Jalen Tolbert didn't deserve to have a uniform on Sundays and usually didn't have one. So wide receiver, they got better. That room is way better. And then cornerback, you, you add Gilmore, and let's let's think of it like it's – you, well, you can do it two ways. One, you can do Gilmore and Anthony Brown out, although I don't know that Brown is completely out yet. Or you could do Gilmore in and uh, all the all, all five or so of the guys that they experimented with at cornerback in the last uh, six weeks of the season. And clearly, you're better there. So the draft make you better? Maybe. The two trades make you better? Definitely. Uh, what does NFL.com say about where the Cowboys are now? The strength of Dallas's defense is a fierce pass rush led by Micah, Tank, and Dorrance, um, says NFL.com. I got to tell you, you might as well keep going with names. Um, Dorrance Armstrong belongs there, but you might as well keep going with names. If you're gonna if you're gonna talk about the Cowboys' pass rush, especially uh, perimeter pass rushers, you you probably need to stick. Uh, Fowler in there, and I think you need to get the last year's rookie in there too. Get him to slow down when he's driving his car, and and that is a good group. Uh, they do point out that Dallas hasn't used the first round selection on a defensive tackle since Russell Maryland 1991, and they and the NFL.com says that one worked out pretty well. I have told you the story that wasn't the plan at all, and that's part of what's interesting about uh, looking at what the Cowboys' intentions are and then what actually happens. The Cowboys moved mountains in 1991 so they could get the first pick in the draft so they could get Rocket Ishmael, not Russell Maryland. And then and then, uh, then Rocket took his act to the Canadian Football League, as I recall, and the Cowboys were stuck with a first-round pick that suddenly they didn't want. Did they get first-round, first-pick overall value out of Russell Maryland? Listen, Russell Maryland's friend of the show. But the number one pick in the entire draft, ideally, is supposed to get you John Elway, not Russell Maryland. In retrospect now, we uh, NFL.com grades the Russell Maryland pick as if it's very, very special. And uh, I, I think I've made it clear um, that it worked. That it worked. If Mozzie works as well as Russell Maryland, I, I guess that'll be fine. Now, genuine Super Bowl contenders. And it's not hard to figure out who the six are. One, Chiefs. Two, Eagles. Three, Bengals. Four, Bills. Five, Niners. Cowboys at number six. What did those teams do to get better? Off-season draft? The Chiefs drafted the SMU receiver, Rashi Rice. That's not a needle mover. 
The Eagles, we know what they did. Jalen Carter, Nolan Smith. And then they trade for DeAndre Swift. Nolan Smith. Jalen Carter, Nolan Smith, trade for Swift. The Eagles might be better. Uh, not like they didn't sustain some losses in free agency, but the Eagles might be better. And that's a bit of a scary thought in the NFC East. The Bengals. They're keeping Joe Mixon. That's about it. Uh, in terms of uh, headline grabbing action, the Bills, Dalton Kincaid, and Cowboy fans are going to think about this for a long time. Cowboy fans will watch Dalton Kincaid. Uh, I can tell you that their quarterback is excited about the idea. Oh, and by the way, the Cowboys and Bills here in the first and second round, Bills jump over the Cowboys to get Dalton Kincaid because they thought Dallas wanted him, right or wrong. And then in the second round, sitting there is Osiris Torrance, the highly regarded guard out of Florida, a plug and play starting left guard here. And the Cowboys passed on Torrance and took Schoon. I'm not saying that's going to haunt the Cowboys. I am saying that a couple of things. One, let's we're going to watch these tight ends forever. And now we're going to watch a couple of offensive linemen forever, too. Uh, because now we know that Bergeron in the first round and Torrance in the second round were the other guys being considered. If they didn't think that they needed to plug in a starting left guard, if they didn't think that was super priority, then they wouldn't have passed on Bergeron in the first round and they wouldn't have passed on Osiris in the second round. Therefore, maybe, just maybe, they're going to come around to what they claim they believe in. Mike Solari this weekend said he believes in best five in the offensive line. If you believe in best five in the offensive line, then Tyler Smith is your left guard. 49ers. They picked a kicker. <laughs> uh, Shanahan gets on the phone with the kid, Kyle Moody from Michigan, and says, here's how highly we think of you. We didn't take a running back. We spent a third round pick on a kicker. Even, even he recognizes how ridiculous that might be, but that's what they did. And that doesn't make them better because they're dumping Robbie Gold, who, by the way, uh, his name associated with the Cowboys creates some buzz. I will point out that over the weekend, the Cowboys talked about a competition, a veteran competition at kicker. And if they were going to sign Robbie Gold, if you want, which is not a terrible idea, if you want to pony up the money, then there would not be a competition. Therefore, I don't think Robbie Gold is option one in this building. And then the Cowboys at number six. And what McCarthy said over the weekend, we, we have an elite pass rush group. We're going to have longer down and distances. We're going to tilt the field towards our pass rush. All viable. I believe it all. But here's the bottom line about the moving of the needle. Tony Sample, $2 pitch in. Mozzie and Carter, both athletes. Mozzie, no red flags. All agree. I totally agree. Different players. Carter is, is clearly a guy, Jalen Carter to Philadelphia, clearly a guy that is, is going to, on paper, going to get up field athletically. Mozzie, like one of the things about Mozzie is his, his lateral movement for a man that size. Um, but but Mozzie running the 40-yard dash is not something he's very interested in. Let's put it that way. Bottom line on this thing, as far as did they get better, they can have made their roster better and still not be better than the Eagles roster-wise, which that was the case three months ago. And I think, I, I think it's still the case now. I think the Cowboys were the sixth best roster in the NFL three months ago. And I think they were the sixth best roster in the NFL three days ago. And so I'm not saying this is bad news. I'm saying this is news. The Cowboys haven't moved up. 
this draft and even free agency in terms of power rankings and whatever you want to, credibility you want to put in those. The, the Cowboys haven't moved up. They were the sixth best roster going in. They're the sixth best roster coming out. Uh, if you would hit the like button, we appreciate that. That uh, does a lot of good for the channel here. And uh, if you will please spread the word on what we do here as well to uh, everybody in Cowboy Nation as we grow this program. Uh, we will definitely be back for Fish at Six live tonight. And we may have some winners and losers in the NFL draft over the course of the day as well. Would you please go hang out at CowboysSI.com? Will you just put a big, big, big blue and silver easy chair right in front of your computer and go dig yourself some CowboysSI.com? We'll catch up with, with you in a bit. We'll be hanging out at the Star today later as well. NFL draft winners and losers coming up today on the channel Fish.